Good day, brothers and sisters, and uh, and uh, we are looking at being filled with God's grace. Something that Knowledge of Jesus Christ is the most important thing we are told in John 17 verse 3. The knowledge of God and Why the knowledge of God and Jesus Christ whom he has sent? Because we are told that we are saved by grace and not by works that any man should boast. Is it is not going to take somebody into the kingdom, but the reception of their spirit, their grace. The most essential thing for not all people who have a theoretical knowledge of Christ, God, and His Son. Able to be saved, to reveal of his mission. But the plan of redemption had yet a broad and deeper purpose than the salvation of man. It was not for this alone that the character of the universe. Let us pray. Abba Father, we thank you because you have allowed us this moment again to share in thy word. Thank you for the presence of Jesus and thank you for the presence of thy spirit and thank you for the presence of the angels. The redemption, the, the plan of redemption has yet a broader, deeper purpose than the salvation of men. In the book, Great Conrovers, page 506, paragraph 2, we are told, renewing power man will continue the captive of Satan a servant ever ready to do his bidding this the writing of the law of God in our innermost parts of the heart in the book of that he will sprinkle the waters upon the hearts of men and remove the heart of stones and this will 
the Lord of Christ, renewing power upon the hearts of men, so that they may no longer yield to the biddings of Satan, but But it comes a time that this grace is implanted, implanted in the heart. This is the spirit. Enlightening power of the Holy Spirit, which renders his word alarm to the feet and a light unto the path. Psalms 119 verses 10. But thy word have I hid in my sin again. Thy law is my meditation. Of how much sore a punishment purpose ye shall be thought worthy who hath trodden underfoot the Son of God and hath come the blood of the covenant. Hebrews 10.29 and so the implanting of the grace of God in our heart is in the implanting of the heart. We are looking at the number four in the series, the latter rain, being filled with God's grace. Zechariah 12. They have pierced and they shall mourn for him as one mourneth for his only son and shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. And so the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. Amen. Fourteen light that on in selected messages, volume one, page one hundred and seventy five, paragraph two. When the labor. So that love for one another is seen and failed, then the showers of the grace of the Holy Spirit will just as surely come upon them as that the work of others their own work does not bear the signature it should. God cannot bless them. What we need is the sanctifying showers of the Holy Spirit called the grace. So that we move all right, being oneness and sanctify our hearts that we may be able to do the works of Christ. Grace and seventeen verses three that they may know the only true God and Jesus Christ whom he has sent. This is the In our hearts, now the Lord of peace himself give you peace always by all means. The Lord be with you all. He is willing to do more than we can ask of him. About the of spirit source, it was and I'll give you rest Matthew 11 28 peace I live with you my peace I give unto you not as the world giveth give I unto you John 7 14 27 not something not give Christ it's not by 
the knowledge, a mere knowledge of the truth, but it is having the indwelling power of myself. of himself but it comes from him it's only through justification that can we obtain this peace and knowledge of Christ the spirit then our hearts cannot be worn to Christ therefore being justified by faith we have peace with God through our Lord to us it is to give us peace peace that comes with an experiential It is just more than having a superficial knowledge of the truth, but walking opposite of people and enemy. But we may have peace in our hearts. But if we will not allow Christ to fill us with His grace, then we shall be in opposite of what. Generating power that will uproot everything that is not of Christ. Romans 8 7 says, I cannot trust God in harmony for not to the heart is the implanting of enmity against the powers of the evil and uprooting of that carnal heart so that we may have a spiritual unto the The carnal mind cannot obey the Lord. So, and how can we come into the harmony with God? Christ came to show who the Father is. And we have to receive him so as we the created beings that every creature should be a uh, smart by sin. So let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. In all the king expression, the kingdom of God is employed to designate both the kingdom of grace and the kingdom of blood. The throne of grace represents the kingdom of grace for the upon the hearts of men. The kingdom of grace was instituted immediately after the fall of man when a plan was devised for the redemption of the guilt race. Existed in the ratified by the blood of Christ. And so now we have access to God through the blood of his son. of men till the wall was leavened. Speaking about 
about the which this change can be, effect, be effected. The living something only from without must be put in the mail before the desired change can be wrought in it. So the grace of God But so it is by the renewing of the heart that the grace of God works to transform the life. No mere external change is in harmony with God. They are beginning in the wrong place. Our first work is with the heart. And for those who will venture into reformation, After our hearts have been regenerated by the grace of God and transformed and correspond to the life of Christ, and righteousness. And so we are told, keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Proverbs 4.23. Their hearts were far from God. And this is what the Lord wants to do. He wants to transform us from inward. We may be able... Simple, we see ourselves and our dependence deepens. So I have heard of thee by the hearing of the and see the way. You may be able to understand what it means. Sinfulness of sin, and the less shall we feel like exalting ourselves. There will be a continual reaching, continual unending confession of sin. That will deepen. Have we received Christ in our heart? Have we sought Him? Known this, then we need more of Christ in our hearts. It is certain is the working of Christ in our hearts. It is the giving of It is the darkness of misapprehension of God that is enshrouding the world. Men are losing their knowledge of his character. It has been misunderstood and misinterpreted. This message claimed a saving it. Into the darkness of the world is to be shed the light of his glory, the light of his goodness, mercy, and truth. Those who wait for the bridegroom coming are to say to the people, Behold, the last of life and character, they are to reveal what the grace of God has done for them. And so the world is waiting to see people 
people the people that the grace of god has wrote a but it is an experiential knowledge and this knowledge is only given and this experience is only given by imparting his to sanctify us the Lord may be able to work on our heart and the Lord and to sound the message so we have to be prepared we have to receive Christ in our hearts more fully behold those disciples here they were to go With the new tongues to be touched with a live call from off the altar. After the disciples had received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, the priests and rulers marveled at the words which they spoke. For they into knowledge that we have been with Jesus. Their teaching was second edition of the teaching of Christ. The utterance of simple grand truth that flashed light in can mind the Holy Spirit gave them utterance. The entrance of thy word giveth light, it giveth understanding unto the symbol. Psalms 119, 130. So from our lips because the words that will be coming will be coming from sanctified lips and will be coming from a lip Bible truth spoken by sanctified lips is eloquent and and power and life we may understand the bible as we understand other books but it is not thus taken into our minds and hearts as the living bread from heaven but naturally give us the power to go and minister to the world Brothers, the last race of mass for life, the last message of mass to be given. Peace may sanctify all your hearts and impart his grace upon us all so that we may be able to do the work. his motives be our motives that nothing shall be done with the uh, for such a time as this this can only be given unto us we can end this in power so without Christ we can do nothing and so if we have Christ we have all we need may the Lord bless us and keep us 
let us be filled with his grace not only knowing the theoretical knowledge of who God is and his son but having an experiential knowledge of who Christ is he says that he came to manifest his father's name and his disciples have to manifest the glory that he has given unto them this shall be enabled by his grace in our hearts may the Lord bless us let us pray father in heaven we need thee more than ever before fill us with thy own self even the presence of thy son in our hearts Christ in us the hope of glory the world needs to see a people who are not professors of Christianity but a people who are Christians help us to be among us those who shall be numbered not professing goldness and denying the power therein but have this sanctifying influence upon those who we meet help us to conquer self that our hearts may be yielded unto thee in Christ Jesus name I pray amen